Hey guys, so I'm over at Harlequins Preston today. I'm back in Preston and uh, uh, this video is basically just to show people what's new and what's going on. Uh, I will reiterate all the changes we've made. Uh, the big ones being that Harlequins Blackpool is now open on a Tuesday. Uh, we have nothing particularly scheduled for a Tuesday yet, but if you have any suggestions, feel free to make them. I may or may not listen, I don't know. Um, the other ones, of course, are living car games are now moving to a Wednesday night in Preston and we will be drafting Magic every Tuesday night in Preston. Uh, so that's that going on, and as of the 15th of July, Harlequins Preston will be open until 10 o'clock at weekends, so you can come down and play some late night sort of gaming and things like that. Uh, we are going to try and get it in so it's, it's mostly role playing and board gaming, but you are welcome to uh, come down and do whatever you like. Uh, and of course that's for free, as always, you don't have to pay membership, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to pay a table charge, you can just come down and play for free. Uh, other than that, this weekend, uh, I don't know why I'm pointing that at the camera, it's scruffy and you can't read it. Uh, this weekend on Saturday in Preston, we have uh, the running down to, I think, the last of the Standard Showdowns. So if you haven't been down for that yet, uh, Standard Showdown, Saturday in Preston, Sunday in Blackpool. On Saturday in Blackpool, we have our first Pokemon League Challenge. So if you're a Pokemon player, get yourself down for that. We're open dead early. Evie and Simon will both be there early. And me and Jimmy will be coming over later on to tag them out and let them get some rest and stuff. So uh, that's that. Other than that, there's not th nothing else on this weekend. Uh, we don't have anything scheduled. Uh, oh, we do have in Preston, we do have the uh, Destiny. Uh, Destiny OP so you can come down and play Star Wars Destiny and that leads perfectly into the fact that we've just had a restock of Star Wars the first Destiny packs the Awakenings packs so we've got them in and we have quite a few they're behind Ellie's head so I'm not pointing this at Ellie I'm pointing behind her so pa gaze past Ellie into the distance of uh, into into the Awakenings over there if you want some Awakenings uh, I'll go back to this one because it's a lot closer so yeah so if you want some Star Wars Destiny Awakenings we have plenty of that in stock in Preston so you'll be able to get that for your prizes for the OP this Sunday which I hopefully I put on Facebook and remembered he says, fingers crossed. We still have a couple of um, anthologies and uh, 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 arch enemies. Thank you. Yes, I got that. Uh, but yeah, we still have, we, we have the second set, Spirit of Rebellion, still as well. And we'll be doing all the gubbins coming up to the third one, which Wheelie's going to tell me the name of. What's the third Destiny set, Wheelie? Empire at War, there you go, that's why we have these people around, you see, because they all know what's going on, and I don't have a clue. <laughs> right, so yeah, so there's that. Well, Opus 3, pre-orders are up. If you want to order some Opus 3, the pre-orders for Opus 3 are now available. £100 a box to pre-order, um, and the pre-release for that is on the weekend of the 15th and 16th of July, which we've just had confirmation of. So we'll be doing a draft pre-release for Opus 3 uh, at both stores. Um, I'm just trying to remember what else we've got coming up that weekend. There's loads of stuff. It's the release for Magic on the 15th as well. So you can come down and play some magic as well. Uh, that's Hour of Devastation uh, release weekend. Uh, and the big one for restocks wise, the big, big thing is we've restocked Feast for Odin. We now have it in both stores again. Uh, new stuff. I don't know if this is actually new, but it's the first time we've had it in as the Dresden Files. I'm not going to move it because it's... Um it's got all its gubbins in front of it, but yeah, the Dresden Files is in stock. I think that's re-released, but I'm not sure. Uh, oh, Captain's definitely new. Uh, oh, right, so Dresden Files apparently was kickstarted and now it's released, but it's really, really good. It's one to five players, and there's some expansions and things as well for it. Uh, we've got Paranoia. Uh, in Preston, we don't have one over in Blackpool, um, so if you do want that, you have to let us know, we will get it swipped over for you. We've got Perlock Holmes and Furriarty's Trail, which is basically Sherlock Holmes' cats, which actually looks kind of cool. Uh, and then we've got uh, Ascension Gift of the Elements, uh, which is the new Ascension uh, expansion, of which there are many. So if you, don't, if you play, if you play uh, Ascension Gift of the Elements there, I think they're all, the big boxes are all standalone as well, so they're expansion standalones, so it's got loads of really cool stuff in that. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else new. Coming up soon, we've got the new uh, Netrunner uh, data pack and the Game of Thrones chapter pack are all both out next week on Wednesday. Uh, that's about it. So yeah, that's everything. So please like, share and subscribe. Go across to our friends over at TNG Productions. Give them a like, a share and a subscribe as well. And we'll see you all again soon, guys.